So, hey everyone, today I'm a little bit short on time as always, but I want to go over some kind of interesting news. So, we're going to talk about lease, uh, what's going on with lease options in August 2023 in Los Angeles. Recently, I got some cars for myself uh, for different reasons. I'm, I mean, I'm not going to sell it, obviously, because it's a brand new car, so there is no point to sell it, and I'm not going to make any money on those cars just because i paid like top for them there is nothing else you can do uh but i got some interesting cars and i'm gonna do the video about them i mean shortly and put it up so but the lease is going crazy i was thinking right now because the market kind of going down on the cheap cars is going up so there is no there is no way you can buy some something good and cheap at the auction for about five six thousand i mean it's gonna be kind of piece of crap you have to spend money on that that's what i'm doing constantly and that's what's going on right now so about expensive cars i mean i'm not that kind of property and over twenty thousand i mean i do have some cars like maybe 10 15 cars they more than twenty thousand uh i paid it the auction but the point is i cannot sell them they're just sitting right now because the market this way the school is starting i mean for some people already started and you guys have a lot of uh ways to spend your money not on uh, not on a new or used car so what's going on with new car market the dealers they kind of short on cars whatever they want so they basically the factory they're producing a lot of different cars but most of the dealers what they want they want electric one they want a the hybrid the most desirable one that's a hybrid like kia nero for example or uh hyundai elantra hybrid uh, toyota all the hybrids toyota because the toyota uh honestly i was gonna get the camry hybrid but the payment on that car it's 700 10 713 with zero down that's just crazy i mean for the car of 35 000 msrp but because they're really short on new cars uh so they cannot get them an amount they want uh that's why the price is going up so they basically holding on an inventory the one with the six engine for sure they can sell it less than msrp but the hybrids one they are not so the land rover velar for example 66 000, uh msrp 2500 down 1220 for 36 months uh bmw x1 the same as i got thousand down 750 isn't crazy i mean it is crazy and that, that's what i got bmw x5 70 000 msrp fm package thousand down 1239 uh jeep wrangler <laughs> that's what i got also for by e 66 msrp 1100 down 797 monthly payment lucid if we're talking about lucid that's interesting i mean they used to be more than thousand payment right now they 7700 down and payment about 750 a month we're talking about the credit score 700 plus for sure uh if you don't have any repo if you don't have any collection and your credit is kind of decent you can buy up to 10 cars if you want to same time uh not a problem it depends what you're going to do with them but it's not an option to not buy it i mean for sure i would buy the new one release it instead of buying used one especially if you are the short on money and you you have about five six hundred dollars to spend my uh, monthly on the car without thinking about transmission or engine a uh, new car that's the way to go so the mazda 650 it was kind of it's a new body style it is interesting for me but for some reason i don't like mazda so i didn't get it so zero down we're talking about 560 a month for that car the tiguan about 470 a month with thousand down that's not bad at all but it's a vw i mean who wants to buy vw a lot of people want but not me so mini cooper we're talking about 2000 down about 606 a month but the problem is if mini cooper i was going to get the convertible one the problem is right now they do have a recall no go on a new car so basically they're going to hold until recall is done 
but they don't have a recall on the EV cars. That's interesting point for me because I was looking around for Mini Cooper like everywhere, calling this and that dealer, calling my friends who's doing brokerage, and everybody was telling me new Mini Cooper S or not S, we cannot sell it, we can only sell EV. The other one, they sit in some of them at the port, some of them at the lot, and they cannot sell it. So BMW, if it's a four series convertible, it was really interesting for me. If it's not convertible, just this four series four door, we're talking about 1000 down payment and about 780 a month for the four series. Even two series right now, it's not cheap at all. They must be the cheapest one. I think it's about 41, 42,000 for the four door two series. But on, on the back, I'm doing like that uh, pale light in the back for two series. That's why I didn't get it. So four series BMW Cabrio, that's about 1,000 down. And we're talking about 1,100 payment a month for the convertible one. It's too much. So the Chevy Equinox, it's about 1,000 down and 432 monthly payment. So I do have a lot of different options for the Audi for the electric BMW. I mean, I'm gonna go over it because that's why I'm saying it just recently, uh, I was shopping for the new cars and that's what I find out. So we're talking about Audi Q4 e-tron. E-tron, it's about 442 a month with 3,800 down. That's quite too much. For the e-tron gt that's the one i was talking about uh beautiful nice sedan four door too expensive 123 000 msrp so that car we're talking about 1100 month payment and 8000 down payment that's again that's too much for the car like brand new but like the one i showed you 50 000 less from the msrp they cannot sell it at the auction bmw ix electric one we're talking about 800 payment a month with 6400 down uh not bad i think so maybe but again i wouldn't buy ix i wouldn't buy electric bmw at all because it's a problem for me to charge it i don't know the place where i'm going to charge it even right now i do have a jeep 4xe and i'm not charging it i'm just driving it as a hybrid that's what i'm gonna do uh bmw i7 that's the beautiful car really beautiful i love it but the problem problem is for me that car like again i cannot charge it i have no idea what i'm gonna do with that i mean charge it at home but that range is gonna go down so fast so i'm not gonna enjoy to drive it maybe on a short trip only so that's i7 we're talking about 9300 down payment and about 1400 a month for the payment for 36 months so three years you're gonna pay 1400 a month for the i7 that's kind of <clears throat> too much i mean if you really need that car you really want it you do have a lot of money to spend monthly you can buy it but uh i don't know so chevy bolt we're talking about new body style and there's two options one it's euv another one just the ev so the ev we're talking about 300 a month with 7300 down payment and the other one euv we're talking about 370 monthly with 7100 down payment that's too much for my opinion uh for bolt bolt is not worth it to buy that so mustang mach e 409 a month with 5200 down payment again ford it's kind of creepy they're not doing any specials they're not doing discounts they just sell whatever it is but if you're gonna wait on the fourth a little bit the price is gonna, gonna go down itself like the fourth f-150 lightning right now you can buy it with 6400 down payment and about 640 a month payment for that car again you have to know about down payment if there is a six thousand so you can do five thousand you can do even thousand but each thousand i believe they count in as about thirty dollars more or less so there is a Kona, Ionic 5, Ionic 6, those about three, four hundred a month with between four and five thousand down payment. Kia Niro, Monkey. 300 a month with 4,400 down. That's not bad at all. But the problem is Kia, they don't have those cars mainly in stock. So you have to wait for one. Or you might going to get lucky to get it right away, but they're going to put a little bit on the top of that. Ah, we're talking about Kia Niro EV. EV, it's not super desirable. They do have it in stock, but the regular Niro, 
they don't have it that much or they want a little bit over msrp so the honda right now keep going strong and they charge in some of the dealers they want a little bit over msrp just for the honda accord or honda civic just because it's always on high demand and they want about 500 payment with 2000 down plus or minus 30 40 50 bucks uh but that's what they're going for polystar that's the really interesting car 399 a month with 70 <clears throat> that's the rebate but they doing 6200 down 45 between 45 and 6200 depends on your credit 399 a month so the tesla that it in where is the tesla tesla they are going tesla 3 right now going for 4500 down payment and 430 a month so the model x 7500 down and 1350 payment so it's a little bit cheaper what i got back in june i think i overpaid for some reason i mean there is a lot of reason why i overpaid so the lease is kind of going strong there is on and on i can keep going because like i said i've been pricing all the cars i'm interested in and uh, my brokers they just been sending me all the stuff whatever is available but the volvo they do have a lot of volvo in stock and the grand cherokee for by e that's a really interesting car also they want 3800 down payment and about 635 a month payment for 39 months so again i don't know why i got that wrangler but for now i really like it it's kind of cool car plus it's brand new plus it's a four cylinder engine and it's a little bit cheaper on a gas what i'm spending on my v6 but v6 right now the one i have rubicon i'm using only for the off-roading all long distance trips because that car i can take anywhere but this one sahara i cannot really go so far or so deep just because it's all standard all stock suspension so that's pretty much it about the lease we have right now on the market in august but like i say all the new, most of the new cars not not actually all of them but no i would say all of them they don't have that many cars in stock and they are short on supplies because i think the manufacturer itself what they're claiming they are short on some parts and they they cannot produce the cars so that's why the dealer dealers they kind of struggle and to get the new cars from the factory but the one they really wanted it's like i say again it's a hybrid they always always on demand high desirable cars and if you're going to check any toyota dealer around you you're going to see how many cars they do have in stock they do have a lot of in stock the camrys they do have a lot of tacomas for runners that's all the new bodies coming and they trying to sell as much as they can because again they are short on the hybrid cars and it's really hard to get them or if they get in them they do have a huge list of the customers who really want those cars and they just waiting for it so they call on them right away and they trying to sell that car to them a little bit over sticker just because it is demanded car i don't know if you're shopping for the lease right now for some cars if you're not interested in the ev or you're not interested to buy any hybrid you can buy v6 or v8 cars with decent discount you have to push them down from the msrp so they can sell it to you and believe me they want to really sell those cars even less than msrp just to get rid of those because there's a new year 2024 coming and they still have a lot of 2023 i don't know honestly what they doing with those cars what they cannot sell so for example if toyota have a lot of right now companies or tacomas like some of my friends have i have no idea what they're doing with them by the end of the year they might taking it back to the toyota and toyota taking them apart or shipping them somewhere honestly have no idea i never asked them about it but i think i do have to ask what they're doing with those cars because honestly they're not selling with like 50 percent discount they just cannot because they're gonna ruin the market and that's it that's all they can do but if you are the shopping for something not super desirable super hot in this season and you don't care about the gas price you can buy v6 v8 so just go to the dealer and try to push them down from the msrp as much as you can and you if you do have a good credit score 
it's gonna help you a lot if you do not have it try to fix it or maybe try to use someone as a cosigner maybe your relative maybe your friend who has a decent credit score so because any new car dealer even the used car dealer if you do have your credit score set up 700 plus or more and it's in decent condition you do have a lot of accounts maybe you have a lot of cars paid off so you can argue about the price you can argue about the terms and you can argue about uh, msrp i mean the window sticker so basically the price for the car you can go down as much as they can so basically five ten thousand maybe three thousand less than msrp that's gonna help you a lot and again some cars like toyota like jeep they're always going to be desirable tahoe that's super hot car if you can get one right now especially diesel one get one and keep it because over the years it's going to appreciate value not depreciate like mercedes or bmw and uh, pretty much that's it what i was going to say today about the lease situation in august 2023 in los angeles hope you liked this video put some comments below and put some thumbs up if you got something interesting for lease just put the comments below how much the payment what's the down payment and what kind of car you got because especially if you are watching from the different state and you have a different program different lease options let me know please because from from the point i know some of the states they do have a different options on the cars and they do have a different colors so for example in california and new jersey or new york we have the same cars like 3 series bmw but even the wheels alloy ribs right on those cars they could be different for the east coast market and for the west coast market and east coast as always they do have more options with all-wheel drive cars on the west coast we do have a less cars like that thank you so much guys for watching it like i say put thumbs up and put some comments below i'm really interested about the cars you got recently or you got maybe during like this summertime and if you got really cheap something let me know what kind of state and what kind of car you got i might gonna go shopping in your state why not mm -hmm.